Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture. I hope you all are doing great. I have a fun video today that I've been wanting to share for a little bit, and so I'm excited to get it to you guys. I'm going to be sharing, sharing with you one of the brand new planners from Dayspring. This is from their Studio 71 collection, which I've shown some of their other goodies from that whole line before, and I'm in love with them. They're always so pretty. I love the style of them. So I love that they do a planner with Dayspring. I used their Studio 71 devotional planner planner last year and I loved it. I loved it so much. I will leave a link down below to um, that video because I talk a little bit about ideas and ways that you can use the planner, which I'm going to do some other ideas today, but if you wanted to see that, you could. So a big thank you to Dayspring for sending me the planner. Also down below, there is a link where you can go and grab yours if you're interested and also check out all of the planners that they have because there are other designs of this same type of planner or there's other varieties of planners that are not included in the Studio 71 line that you may enjoy um, and like just as well. Um, also, I want to mention this now so that um, you don't miss it. If you're seeing this video before, um, well, if you, as long as you see the video on by uh, Monday, June 8th. June 8th is the last day of a little flash sale that Dayspring is having for Bible journaling goodies. So that includes um, their organization, like bags, some of the organization, um, like little things, items. You have a little pull-out boxes that are in the little case, another little carry case. They've got all, a lot of their Bible journaling supplies. Um, and some of them are as low as $2. So a really, really good sale on that. Some old devotional kits, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna leave the link down below directly to the sale page so you can check it out. Also, you'll get free shipping over $50. And if you guys remember, I will leave a link to it down below. I shared all about the um, Bible journaling workbook that Shauna Noel did with a lot of people from her creative team and did that with Dayspring. It's a really, really nice spiral bound hardback book. It's got like the metal tipped corner so it protects it. It has all about Bible journaling. So it, whether you are brand new or know someone that's brand new or you have been Bible journaling for a while, I think it's great for everyone because it does, it talks you through the beginner steps, but it also has a lot of things to take your Bible journaling to the next level if you want by trying different supplies, different tutorials so there's all these like step-by-step -step picture tutorials for different types of entries you can do that makes it really easy and they have discounted that workbook insane down to only ten dollars which is just crazy so make sure you check out that sale if you were wanting to grab that before or if you know someone that that would be good for it's only ten dollars it's such a good deal for a really really nice gift so i will leave a link down below like i said make sure you head over there and check um all of that out now let's dive into the planner. Like I said before, it has this really, I think I said before, it has this really, really nice little organization um, or nice box, but I use it for organization once I take the planner out for Bible journaling supplies or whatever. If I'm working on a specific project, I can store it in the box. So make sure you keep it. It's a really nice quality box. Um, you could always store your planner back in it once you're done if you like to hang on to it. Um, it has a little welcome note from Day Spring and then this Studio 71, like gold metallic. I like to reuse this um, in Bible journaling or um, for different uh, little craft projects. So that's always fun. I love that they included that. Now here is the planner. This is the style I have. There is another style as well. Like I mentioned, this is the one that they sent me and it is just beautiful. Now this is, I hope you can tell by the video, this is a um, lavender, but it's a very, very light, light lavender, almost violet um, planner and or cover. And I really love, it's very plain and simple. It has this violet color, which I'm not always a huge, huge fan of purple and violet, but this is very much of a muted and more pastel type. I mean, it's very muted. It's not like this bright, bright purple. So don't let that steer you away from that. Um, I really love it. See, this is the one that I had last year. I'll show it to you. It had the florals with the gold. And I really liked that. It was, it's really pretty, but this is kind of just a little bit different and something fun. I love that this year they've included, of course you have the year, but then they've put this made to be grateful and free. And I just thought that was such a beautiful little sentiment with the gold spiral bound here. You have the gold elastic band to um, keep your 
pages all protected by keeping it closed when maybe you're storing it in your purse or somewhere. And um, again, this is like a metallic foil, gold foil on the front. So maybe, yeah, you can see that a little bit better when I lift it up. Um, but I do like the color. I, I feel like it, I hope it doesn't look too dark here in the camera, but um, in person it's, it's a lighter, much lighter type of um, violet or lavender. Now, when you open it up, it's so beautiful. They have this really nice uh, floral. So it kind of reminds me of last year's and the fact that it had the, the uh, gold and floral on the outside. And so this year, this one's just sort of flip-flop for me, which is a nice little change to change it up. And then you have a little note from Studio 71. And then, of course, a little name title page here. Um, you'll get your 2021 year view at 2022 and it is 18 months and it goes from we have July here of 2020 all the way through we go through December of 2021. I'm going to walk you, walk you through the, um, a lot of the features that are really nice. I love that, like the months and some of these extra sections at the back, which are my favorite and really what makes this planner different. But you, these sections have like the um, tabs on them that ha are protected with that. Um, I forget what it's called, but it reminds me of like, you know, my grandmother's Bible back in the day when it would have the, um, like each book of the Bible would have this like little plastic clear piece over it to um, help you flip to it <laughs> to it quickly and that's kind of how this is so it protects those tabs so that they don't get bent and they're easy to flip over too. Now we have um, for July 2020 we have this devotional and each month that's why I love this one this is one reason why I love this planner more than most because it's totally different than any other planner you get a devotional each month which is really really I think just so sweet so like there would be August and you've got September so each month has a devotional and then it has some space for um you know journaling meditating on that and writing down some thoughts or scriptures prayers whatever and i really like that they've included that so like if you're one of those people that sits down at the beginning of the month and you plan things out this is a great way to get your mindset um you know in order and to really just pray over what god would have for you to plan out for that month perhaps different things like that now on the other side of each month it does really beautiful a different floral and usually has like a little sentiment on it in Christ, I am valued. I love that. And so I showed you a few of them. So each page will have this really pretty floral design and they're all different. I think they're so pretty. Um, these would be really fun. Actually, when you're done with the planner, you could cut this out, you know, frame it, reuse it somehow because they're so really just so pretty. Now, I'm gonna show you the month view now. You'll get a month view of July, of course, with um, the little square box here, then you'll have your notes section over here. I usually like to put like list bills on this side with the dates and then I can check off when those are paid. I've got June and August, of course, are um, neighboring months. And then you'll have your weekly view. And this is all the same as the one last year, if you did have last year. So you'll have a scripture at the top of each page, and then you'll have your daily. You got Saturday and Sunday. We'll share a section here. And then, of course, um, double columns for each day of the week. I love this style because I'm a big checklist person. So you've got your checkbox with your line here, so you can just check things off as you go. That's so me. And so I really love that they um, included that. Now, and I just wanted to go back through and at the end of the month, so you'll have, you know, of course, a spread for each week of the month. Then at the end, you've got kind of like a recap. So as I mentioned before, when you're getting ready to plan that next month and you've done, you know, you're working on that month, planning things out, um, devotional, before you do that, if you want, you can recap July. And I love this because it kind of turns this whole planner into a planner, a devotional, and now a memory book a memory keeper and so for july it's memories i want to keep forever and ever and ever and so you got i love spending time with my prayers and god's answers challenges i faced fun and funny things that made me laugh scriptures that spoke to me and things i'm so very grateful for so when i mentioned that you may want to hang on to your planner and keep this almost as if it was a journal for years to come that's why having the box is so great to keep it in and protected um, because it's going to if you use it that way, it would be more of a memory and a keepsake. And I think it would be fun to look back years later and see the fun and funny things that made you laugh that year or, or whatever it may be. And uh, for some people, 
right now, I think finding that gratitude and finding the um, even those little things that can make us smile each day and keep our spirits up, keep our focus and our trust on God right now is um, vital, right? And so this is a really sweet way to be able to do that. And so then over here on the left side, each month has a note page. So you have a whole page designated just to notes for that one month. So that's how each month is organized. I wanna go ahead and flip to the back because all months are the same basically. And then you'll have a section. So we've got our last tab was December for the months. And then you'll go to the, these extra bonus tabs, which is another thing that makes this devotional different than any other that I've really seen. You have an extra noted section. And so you've got um, several pages there for um, notes, which is awesome because whenever I get a planner, I'm like, I always feel like I run out of room for those note pages and I'm having to add extras in so that they're already in here. Then back here for your gratitude section, which, hello, I feel like this is something we need so much right now. Here's a place where you can write down all sorts of notes for gratitude, things that you were grateful for that really stood out that you want to put here. If you want to make small list and do a couple things you're grateful for each day. It's just a really fun way to make that intentional because it's already here in your planner. This is really, to me, just so much more than a planner. Then you've got a goals section, which I love. It says, as you set goals, ask God to help you prioritize what you need to do. And so what's really cool is we can set goals. But a lot of times, you know, if we don't have something to help us and steps to get there, we fail at them. And so you've got a place to put your goal. You've got step one, your progress made. So you can kind of put through here, what are all the steps that you need to take to get to that goal? And then the progress that you're making on them, you could put a date out here that you wanted to get that progress done by or whatever it may be. So that's just a cool little extra section they've put in here. I love it. I love that so much. Um, just like I said, it's something different that I've never really seen laid out like this for to have this many features in one planner and then a really long to-do list which i said i'm all about checklist right the check boxes so it, this could be anything that you want to put back here if you want to designate these pages for um to do and have a section for grocery shopping your list if you want to have a to-do section for like home decor or home projects another section for um, things that you need to get done for a Bible study group or a Sunday school class that you're in charge of, those types of things. You could designate each of these pages for those categories to even keep them more organized. Lots and lots of ways to use that. And there are tons, there are a lot of pages for the to-do checkboxes, which is awesome. And then here's probably, I think one of the next best parts of this whole planner in addition to the devotionals is that day spring they they really just go above and beyond with these types of things and they're planning it so this last section is called hope which is a word that we all could really use right now is hope and some light right some brightness in our lives and so this side over here has hope with different topics and then you're going to go over here and see that there are scriptures for those topics so um, if you one day are just like, I really am overwhelmed, I need some peace, I need to find um, something to just comfort my heart, you've got peace and you have some scripture references that you could go and look up. Maybe you want to take and write those down over here on this page because they've made a notes page to go along with this section. You could do that. Um, I love that. If you're a Bible journaler, as many of you are, I know, and you're stuck on where what you want to Bible journal next in your um, Bible, um, here's a great way like if there's something that you've been if you've been dealing with depression here's some verses that you could go and journal and get into God's Word um, to focus on that fear um, family and marriage whatever it may be I love that that's here so that reference is there for you and then this is just a nice little extra you've got these little pockets this is a you know it's more of a really really thick um, not really even cardstock. It's even thicker than that, like a poster board almost in a way, but not that thick. But you do have the two little um, envelopes, or like envelopes, the pockets, so you can store things in there if there's anything that you want to take with you somewhere, bills, um, receipts, whatever it may be. Um, maybe some Bible journaling supplies, planner stickers, planner supplies, um, notepads, that kind of thing. And then your back cover has, again, that really, really pretty floral design. And then the back of it just has um, the Studio 71 and Day Spring. So one thing I want to talk about real quick is the um, some ideas that I had for using a planner this year and in the you know the next coming up 18 months. My thoughts here is this is something that I have always wanted to be more diligent about. I've done it a little bit in the past. I'll do it, you know, kind of spotty here and there on dates. But this is something I really, really want to be more intentional about um, starting. And maybe perhaps this planner will keep me accountable with doing that. And that is keeping 
a um, planner slash memory book or a memory um, you know keepsake in a way and the way I want to do that is I think it will be more doable for me and easier if I have it all in one in my planner because a lot of times the things that we have scheduled and the things that we have to do are maybe some fun big events in our life that become memories for us right and so for already documenting those events in our planner to remind us I thought it would be so cool to have a place designated each week on every day um, for memories things that happen it can be small it can be big anything in between and I may change um, this time around is that I want to keep those memories and all just right here in the pages for my all my other scheduling is going to be done and have a column here for appointments for you know to-do lists things that need to be done at home things that need to be done for my blog so forth on this side and then having this second or right side to write down those memories so it can be something that you would do every night and just jot a few quick things down of what you did that day so that it's fresh on your mind if you have a fun little memory of something that your child said or did or if it was something that you did as a family it can be things that are just basic that um, you stayed at home all day you got some cleaning done um, you know cleaned out some um, and donated some things, things like that. It doesn't have to be anything big. I just love that idea of having that document every single day so I could flip back years later and see exactly what we were doing on that day. Um, and so I kind of think this is something fun that I would love to see y'all join in and do with me as well if you want to. And, and right now, maybe where you're at, you're not able to go to appointments and you aren't able to um, gather and do certain things. Um, some people are and some aren't. And if you aren't, um, you know, you might not be using a planner to write down as many things as you might normally do. But with this, it's a great way to keep those in memory. So you could do some memories on this side. You could do scripture writing on this side. Whatever it may be, whatever works for you, make it that and make it work for you. Um, with the kids going back to school, you know, hopefully in the next few months, then, you know, things may change and you may be writing more appointments. Just make it adapt and work for you each month if you need to. But I am hoping to do my memory planning on each side for each day, um, just so that I can have all of that close to me um, for many, many years to come and know exactly what's going on. Especially if you have kids or grandkids, I think it's a great way to keep those types of memories. Um, if you know your child had an award ceremony or you know did get some big award or had a baseball game and you want to jot down just a few little memories about that game or whatever it may be this would be so cool to have it in one place we take pictures a lot we take videos a lot now that you know everybody has smartphones but we don't always remember like the little bitty details of each day and i've written notes like in the note app on my phone before um from when my little boy was younger or when i um you know was pregnant with him and i love to go back and read those notes i read things that I read, jotted down in my phone in my note app when um, I was in, you know, in the hospital having him or whatever the case may be at the doctor's office. And it's really fun because there's things I'll go back and reread that I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Or I've just been you know, like, wow, that's so cool. So this would be cool to have it here and it's in a place documented every day. So even if you are on your phone and you think of something or your little one says something, jot it in your phone on a note app and then you can always transfer it here later and have them all in one place. So that is my thoughts, that is my ideas for using the planner. I am gonna be using it for scheduling home things and blog and all that, but I wanted to have a place to keep those memories um, you know, close at heart as well. And having a planner that you have out and you're using every day will make it easier to do that instead of having maybe a separate notebook to do it. Um, if you're a journaler and you love to journal, you know, then that's great. But for those of you that maybe don't have as much time to sit down and journal every single day, you could still do just a small little jot down and a journal synopsis, I guess, of your day if you wanted to. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know how you plan um, to use a planner this year. If you're gonna be trying any kind of new techniques or ideas like I am, I would love to hear that. Make sure you check out the link down below where you can grab your planner and check out the other planners that Dayspring has. And also through Monday, June 8th, if you're watching this before then, check out that Bible journaling sale with products up to 15, uh, 50, 50% off with some as low as $2. Also that Bible journaling workbook is only $10 right now. So 
just some crazy good deals. I hope you guys take advantage of those. If you have any questions, please let me know down um, in the comments and I will get back with you. Um, make sure that you are subscribed and you click that bell icon so you'll know when the next video is out. I'll see y'all again very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.